We're joined by <coughs> off trade coach Daniel Santos Atkinson and Brooke Anya, and we'll start with the opening statement on the win from Coach Atkinson. Go ahead. Uh, just really proud of this team and the way they fought the entire game for 40 minutes all year long. We've been talking about uh, that mid stretch when we face adversity, being able to stay together, being able to handle the pressure, handle the ball, stay poised and composed. Uh, we did that tonight, uh, being able to finish games down the stretch. Uh, we fought to do that tonight. Uh, I just so proud of the things that we've been working on and the growth that we've seen in this team throughout this tournament. But just the way they've been able to fight together uh, has been tremendous. All right, questions? Coach, you had two leading scores tonight, two 11-point scores, two 10-point scores. What has the balance of this team meant in the tournament? They've, they've done a great job. When I say they're playing together, they're sharing that ball. They are sharing the ball. They're working together. They're working to get not just good shots, but great shots. Uh, and that's something that we've talked about all year long. Uh, they're following the game plan, uh, attacking the areas that we're looking to attack. But they're playing with a lot of confidence. And that's what we've got to be able to do as a team is play with confidence. Did they hit every shot? No. And if you miss a shot, that's OK. Uh, just continue to rebound that basketball and fight for it and, and continue to find shots for other people. Brooke, you had a double double today along with Zaima. Uh, just what can you say? You know, you had a conference championship back at Longwood. You know, what is your just mentality going into this sort of being a leader, although a newcomer leader on this team going into this run? Um, I think we just haven't shown what we really are capable of and just kind of uh, being that leader and being that person that you can follow suit. Like, you see what I'm doing, and we're all going to do it together. And as you could see tonight, it was shared. It wasn't just one person. But we're so much more that we haven't shown, and I'm just there to be there with them. So. <laughs> so like you mentioned, Coach, so many times this season, you guys have gone down to the wire against teams and it hasn't really gone your way. What pushed you over the edge this time? Uh, we, again, it's just their mentality down here at that tournament. We, we had a talk before we came, and we said we've shown that we have the ability to play with every team in league. We have that ability. It's been uh, in, the, in the games that we've lost, down the stretch, third quarter, there's separation. Then there's fourth quarter, then there's separation. So we've shown that we can play with these teams. And, and being able to pull from those three quarters where we get it done, the 80% of the game where we're able to hold on. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is just this team having, a, having the will down the stretch to be able to continue to fight. Coach, explosive offense in the first half of this game, but what's something I want to talk about is the defense, especially being able to shut down a team like William & Mary. What is the message to the defense, especially in a tournament like this? That's what it's all about. In, in, a, in a tournament like this, uh, we've got to hang our hat and, and rely on our defense. We've got to make sure that we're getting stops, not allowing easy buckets on the other, on the other end, uh, and forcing teams to take tough shots. Uh, on the offensive end, we've got to work to get the, the best shot possible. Uh, but whether they're going in or, or whether they're not going in, we still have to continue to get stops. And so that first half, I, the first quarter especially, I thought we did a great job. We were getting stop after stop after stop. Uh, we allowed them, even that second quarter, we were getting stops. Um, we were we talked at halftime uh, Nyla Young she's a phenomenal player and and she had 18 points 18 18 mm. points 16 points uh, in the first half and just seeing what they did defensively in that second half and making the adjustment uh, to be able to hold her uh, in that second half is just again a credit to them and how locked in they were defensively uh, Bob Flannan with the uh, pilot in the Daily Press in Virginia um, two days in a row now you've beaten a team that you lost to twice in the regular season, did you see anything on scouting, or did you make any adjustments, or w w what was the difference? Yeah, I think the first thing we said we're not going to lose again. <laughs> we we had a guy. Lee said, "Listen, uh, we've done this twice already, and coming in here this third time, we're not. We again, it's just the will that this team has right now. Um, obviously, there's there's lots of things in those games we were able to pull from that we did well." Uh, and we were able to make some adjustments in some of the areas where we where we struggled. But in in all in both of the games, I feel we, we are a different team than we were when we played those guys initially. And so just the growth that we've continued to have, um, a lot of it just in our mental toughness uh, and being able to sustain and, and withstand throughout the adversity. For for Coach Ann Brooks, I miss when obviously made the mental mistake down the stretch and then immediately on defense goes and blocks the shot. What is it like to to have that player and that teammate? that just has that short memory and that, that good mentality to, to never let mistakes go over, Ryder. 
Yeah, what I loved was how the, her team surrounded her. There was not one person that was upset at her mistake. They understood it's not about one possession. And, and quite frankly, we all made mistakes during the game. And so they, they surrounded her. They gave her encouragement. They, they told her that we had her back, right? You made that mistake, but we got your back down here defensively. And she ended up having ours um, and getting that stop down the stretch. But they just surrounded her and told her, listen, we're still going to finish thing, this thing out. Uh, we got you. We got your back. And they just surrounded her and stayed positive. And she was able to stay in it uh, in that last possession. And Zai is a special teammate. Like, she's always going to be there for you when you make the mistake. And we were there for her. And you could see in her eyes when she was like, oh, dang, like I made that mistake. She was like, oh, no, I'm going to get it back. And that's exactly what she had. And that's kind of spread out across all of us. Because right now, it's that get back. We're not laying down for anybody that's in our path. So, Anything else? All right. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you.